disastful. Tinubu finally reacts to Donald Trump assassination attempt. Sends heart touching message. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got here here this morning. As our headline for this morning says, disastful. Tinubu finally reacts to Trump's assassination attempt. Sends heart touching message. In a strong condemnation to the recent attack on Donald Trump, the United States Republican presidential candidate, Nigerian President Bola Tinubu, labeled the incident as disastrous and a serious affront to democratic principles. The attack, which occurred during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, resulted in the death of one individual and left another seriously injured. The disturbing events unfolded on Saturday when Donald Trump, the former U.S. president, was addressing a crowd of supporters, the rally was obstructly ob ob dis disturbed by the sound of gunshots, causing panic among the attendees. The quick response of the Secret Service ensured that Trump, who, who sustained a minor injury, was swiftly escorted off the stage. According to a statement released by Trump on Sunday, a bullet had pierced the upper part of his right ear, during the chaos, expressing his condolence, Trump acknowledged the swift action of law enforcement officials which prevented further casualties. He extended his sympathies to the families of the victims affected by the tragic event and expressed gratitude for the prompt response of the security personnel. President Tinubu, known for his vocal advocacy for democratic values and peaceful political process, took to his Twitter account, his ex-handle, to express his outrage and condolence in a statement. He emphasized that the attack was a gross violation of democratic norms, asserting that violence has no place in any democratic society. The attack on former President Donald Trump is disastrous and it goes beyond the pale of dem democratic norms. Violence has no place in democracy, Tinubu said. He further extended his sympathies to Trump, wishing him relief from, the, from his injuries and expressed his condolence to the family of the deceased and those who were injured, wishing them a swift recovery. Tinubu's condemnation of the attack underscores the importance of maintaining peace and security in democratic engagement. His statement resonates deeply with the principles of democratic governance, highlighting the need for political processes to be conducted in an atmosphere free from violence and intimidation. The violent incident at Trump's rally has sparked widespread discussion about the state of political discourse and security at campaign events in the United States. This attack marks a significant moment in current political climate, raising questions about the measures in place to protect political figures and their supporters during public engagement. In the wake of the incident, there has been a renowned call for heightened security and more profound commitment to non-violent political expression. Leaders and citizens alike are reminded of this fundamental tenet of democracy, which hints on respect for differing views and the peaceful exchange of ideas. President Tinubu's statement also reflects Nigerian's stance on international issues concerning democracy and governance by standing on solidarity with the United States during this challenging time. Tinubu reaffirms Nigeria's commitment to supporting democratic values and condemning action that threatens the peace and stability of democratic institutions worldwide. Well, as the investigation to, to, into the attack continues, it serves as a pregnant reminder of the vulnerabilities that public figures face at a critical need of robust security measures. The incident not only highlights the personal risks involved in political campaign, but also calls for a collective effort to safeguard democratic process and ensure that political expression remains free from fear and violence. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says, Disastful. Tinubu finally reacts to Trump's assassination attempt, send a heart-touching message. Well, of course, you heard it from me this morning. We all know what happened on Saturday in the United States of America. And before I move on, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, do like to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the nearest future to come. It's because the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, have said disastrous. Well, if you guys don't know, let me recap it back to Saturday. When Trump was making a presidential statement in Pennsylvania, in the United States, you know, they are doing the, the American 2024 election, he was almost killed, yes, by an assassin holding a sniper 
it was, it, was, it was a sniper but luckily for trump the sniper missed his target he was the target and all the secret service the secret service members in america they have that, that job the, their job is to protect the president and ex-president by all costs then they immediately pinned trump to the ground yeah they pinned him to the ground protecting several more shots that came toward to him towards him well trump sustained an injury to, in his right ear because the bullet pierced his right ear that, that is to tell you how close he was about to die seriously that is to tell you how close he is from dying well the person who shot trump he's dead right now because the secret service members killed him when they found him on set because you know how snipers do that job right Unthinkable being a politician a, poli a well-known politician he says something on Twitter. He, had, he sends a heart-touching uh, message to Donald Trump on Twitter. Because he says that... It's, it's, Tinbu really says a lot of things. And for me, I'm really proud of him. Let me read Tinbu's tweet. He says, The attack on former President Donald Trump is disastrous. Yes, Tinbu says that the attack is disastrous. And it goes beyond the pale of democratic norms. Violence has no place in democracy. He ex I extend my sympathies to the former president. And I wish him relief. And I also can do with the family of the deceased and those wounded. I wish them a quick recovery. Nigeria stands in solidarity with the United States of America at this time. That is all what Tinubu said concerning this incident that happened to, to Donald Trump. Seriously, that, 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 that's really good. That, that, that's really, really good. That, that's really good coming from the president of Nigeria. He says that Nigeria is standing with them. We did a hard time. This has shown. This, this has proved that even people in the highest seats in this world, they are, they are not safe. Who? They are not safe. Seriously, they are not safe. They, people, do you know how many haters Tinbu has? Talk about how many haters Donald Trump has. That is to tell you that they are not safe. And the insecurity gone safe. It's not only. It's not only in Nigeria. We can see insecurity now happening in the United States of America. But we just thank God for life. We thank God that he wasn't killed. What do you guys think? Let me see a comment below in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as the big red one with the notification bell so that anytime I have any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.